Money Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom by Tony Robbins. Step one, make the decision to master this area in your life. Commit to self-discipline and mastery over your financial state. Make the decision to become an investor, not just a consumer, and commit a percentage of your income towards your own freedom fund. Pay yourself and put the money aside and don't touch it. Instead of just letting it sit there and go to waste, let the power of compounding grow your money. Commit to becoming smart with money. Tony mentions in the book that the financial state that we live in is a game and the game is rigged. And if you don't know the rules of the game, the house will always win. So commit to understanding the rules of the game and win. Step two, become the insider. Know the rules of the game before you actually get into the game. Now Tony reveals nine myths to become aware of when you're in this process of financial freedom. Now one of the myths that Tony debunks is the myth that fees are not important to notice. Now the reality is the difference in a fee percentage could be the difference of millions of dollars compounded over time. Another myth to be aware of is the myth that mutual funds beat the market and that a broker is your friend. Now your broker might be a really nice guy, but they are not legally bound to be in your best interest. So when you're seeking financial advice, Tony suggests to go with a fiduciary. A fiduciary is someone that is legally bound to be in your best interest. Another myth is the myth that you gotta take big risk for big reward. Instead, imagine if you could take very little risk and have very big reward. Kind of like a have your cake and eat it too scenario. If it was possible, would you learn it? Would you pursue it? Those were just three of the nine myths to become aware of if you want to win at the game of money. Step three, define the price of your dreams and be specific as to how much money you want and what kind of income you want. Tony defines finances into three levels. The first one is financial security, which is just getting by. Then you have financial vitality, After that, you have financial independence, which is the level that you no longer have to work for another person. The fourth level is financial freedom, which is basically accomplishing all your bucket lists and living the life of your dreams. The one after that is absolute freedom, where you can do whatever you want, whenever you want, and contribute as much as you want. So how can one fund their dreams? How can one save up this kind of money and move up the financial levels? Tony explains, that you gotta become more valuable as a person. The more valuable you become, the more money you receive. And there's five different strategies that are talked about in the book that can accelerate your process of funding your dreams. The first one is to earn more money and invest the difference. The second is to reduce the amount of fees and taxes that you have and invest the difference. The third is to save more money and invest the difference. The fourth is to maximize the return on your investments And the fifth strategy is to alter your lifestyle and invest the difference. Step four, learn where to put your money. Asset allocation could be the key to your successful investing. And asset allocation goes way beyond owning just a variety of stocks. It's actually more about owning a variety of unrelated asset classes, domestic stocks, international stocks, real estate, annuities, bonds, and so on and so forth. Step five, create a lifetime supply of income. Imagine what it would be like for you to receive a check for life. And that check for life can afford you the life that you've always dreamed of. Now it starts by accumulating a mass amount of wealth by investing in low cost, tax advantaged, well allocated investment vehicles. Followed by converting your wealth into an annuity that pays you a consistent income every single month for life. Step six, invest like a billionaire. To do this, follow four principles. The first principle is do not lose money. The second principle is to seek asymmetric risk class reward, which is high reward, low risk. The third is to anticipate financial disasters, so diversify your investments. And the fourth is to never stop learning. Become hungry and motivated to consistently become better. Tony says that the most successful people that he's ever met had a relentless pursuit for knowledge. Step seven, live the rich life. Enjoy the abundant life of your dreams. 
Tony suggests pursue satisfying the six basic human needs. The need for certainty, the need for uncertainty, the need for love and connection, the need for contribution, the need for significance, and the need for growth. And one of the most important and very fulfilling needs that you can satisfy is to be sure to contribute. Being the richest man in the graveyard is not the goal. And this book truly has moved me. Have the goal to live a life of meaning. And remember, the secret to living is giving. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I recommend that you pick up a copy of this book yourself. You can find a link for it in the description below. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and be sure to comment any videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks.